Hey y'all, it's Corey with Everyday Man. Doing everyday reviews for everyday people. Now, any of you guys that watched my last video know that last time you seen this little thing, I had it all ripped apart. Well, we got it back together and we're gonna be doing a little camping this weekend. So stick around, I'll do give you a tour of the inside. I pulled my side by side here with it. I'll show you that setup. Stick with us, we'll get with it. T-Rex. You gonna do this? You gonna squeeze these two tabs? Grab it right here. Twist. Oh, okay. Thank you. One here. Yeah. Thank you. I know you shoot used it. to put it in your nose like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> put that one in your camp. Oh, you don't need it. So I got another bottle in it. Oh, thank you. Stuff down here has got me like going crazy. Yeah. Red. So a few of y'all have asked me about it. Um, so one of the perks of having a little bitty truck camp is that's how you sweep one out. <laughs> so as I was saying, I did pull my Defender up here. I've got a 22 foot flatbed trailer. Um, and I also have a 14 foot flatbed and I decided to pull my big trailer because it's tandem axle and I wanted to be at a place to defend her on the trailer right where I needed it for tongue weight. I didn't want to put too much tongue weight on this. But what we have, we've got a Kurt 34 inch extension tool. I have the trailer hook extension. I don't know if you can see all of that. And then I have a splitter going to the truck. One's for the camper, one's for the trailer. Um, I have a link to all of this on YouTube. But, uh, Mama's out, so we're gonna go ahead and climb on in there and I'll show you around the inside of it. It's Sunday morning, we're packing up to leave, but I wanted to show you guys the setup, what it looked like with the trailer behind it ready to roll. So, I think we're fogging up. We got the truck here, camper loaded up. We have the fast gun tie downs um, we have a 22 foot flatbed utility trailer with the can am on it the defender that's what she looks like we got the curt 32 inch extension a 34 inch safety chains to the truck safety chains to the extension and that's us let's get back to the video now one thing to note with a truck camper is um, these Dodge or, or Ram pickup trucks the heavy duties are really tall so your camper is gonna be really tall off the ground and then all you get is this little bumper to stand on around outside so even like trying to pull out this awning and stuff can be a little tricky walking around back there but come on in <clears throat> now once you're in this thing's actually pretty tall uh pretty tall i would say it's i'm six foot one and i've got five or six inches above my head now on the front here um you can see i still haven't completely finished the insides this is where it fell apart on me and I had to rebuild it so I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the insides but it's got a queen size bed a full queen size bed here's my little closet and the light comes on when you open the door pretty nice it's got a little TV cabinet <clears throat> little storage containers compartments and then on the other side this is Kara's side. She's got, oh, hers is way more organized than I am. She's got her own little closet. This thing really has a whole lot of storage for what it is. And for as old as it is, 04, the inside is actually in really good shape. It, um, it's really nice. 
we got a nice refrigerator freezer six cubic feet i believe it is maybe five i don't know but it's uh it's got a decent amount of room in it it's got a little double sink we got a three burner stove with an actual oven we got storage under here this folds up to make a little extra counter space we have we do have excuse me we do have a slide out pantry this is pretty cool oh i see she loves me too we got jalapenos in there gotta have jalapenos on everything <clears throat> and we also have another large storage cabinet right here she's got a broom and all in now we do have the little u-shaped dinette this turns and moves in and out now for reference i'm six foot one i weigh about 290 pounds 295 and i really fit in this thing well if you're a big man and you're concerned about being in a truck camper you can do it you can fit in here i promise you um we got this little cabinet that goes all the way across this thing's really got a, a lot of storage room um, now our bathroom it's a wet bath sliding door so your toilet and your shower is all in one now let me step on in here now the bathroom is not very tall I could definitely hit my head on that little fan. So, there's probably about six foot of clearance in that bathroom. But that's the inside of our little camper. So we're getting to enjoy it for the first time since we put it back together. It's really the first time I've taken it away from the house. And uh, it was really nice that I was able to pull my trailer, get my Defender up here. Now, be honest with you, with the, the 22 foot trailer, um, I'm glad I didn't get stopped by DOT. I'm sure this ram was heavy. But I didn't, I was afraid to pull the single axle because of tongue weight. And I wanted to give it a shot and see what it would do. And we're not very far from the house. Um, Tyler, Mississippi is only a, about 90 miles from the house. So we're not real far. I figured it was a, a good time to test it out. So let's get on back outside. We turn the air conditioner back on. Not an air conditioner in that little thing. Let me tell you, it's a meat locker in there. So yeah, like I was saying, this, this is tall. It's on the back of this truck. So it's it's high up there. But let me put my shoes back on. There's the mama. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's uh after the crap I went through getting this thing together, man, it's it's nice to be able to enjoy it. Uh, I know Kara was looking forward to it. She was quite upset with what happened, and and just be able to come out here and spend some time in it and get some get some use out of it. It it was really rough. You know, when I bought it, I was expecting to be able to get in it and use it like I want, and uh, didn't plan on ripping it apart. So as of right now, I've worked on it more than I've used it. So it was really good to, to get some use out of it. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys like the content. Hope you enjoy my videos, man. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And until next time, this is Corey on Everyday Man.